Hi all, uh, I'm a little bit bored at work. Uh, my experiments are running and it's just a waiting game for the results. So in the meantime, I thought I'd just do a little investigation into Nathan Oakley's angle of attack bullshit. Now, according to him, when I place this magazine down on the ground and take a picture from a large distance from a larger angle, uh, it should be visible, but when I decrease that angle, it should disappear. So we're just gonna have a quick look and see if that actually holds up. So here is a photo of the hallway. A very conservative estimate puts this hallway at around 50 meters long. I have taken two pictures, one which is at eye level and one with my camera resting on the ground. Now, I am a lanky fucker and my eye level is somewhere around 1 meter and 85 centimeters high, which is roughly 6 foot 2. I have measured the radius of my lens to be around 3 centimeters. Now, this makes the angle for when I stand up roughly 2.1 degrees, and when I have the camera on the ground, the angle is roughly 0 0.034 degrees. Now, with a two orders of magnitude difference, we would really expect a significant change in angular size in the edge of the magazine. I did put a black laser pen on top of the magazine as I found it quite hard to locate the magazine on my camera's LCD display at this distance. But actually, after looking at the pictures on my computer, I really shouldn't have bothered, but oh well. So let's have a look at the first picture I took. So we have the image from when I was standing up, and we can clearly see the magazine and the laser pointer on top of it. However, there are some annoying light reflections though. But now we see the image from when I had the camera on the ground and we can still clearly see the magazine. Now I think that this makes it very obvious that Nathan Oakley is full of shit when it comes to this angle of attack bollocks. But then again, I am increasingly doubting that he really is a flat earther. I mean, come on. You, you can't really carry on believing all of this shit after all the evidence that has been thrust in your face, can you? Now, he is just in it for the tasty YouTube money, and now he's backed himself into a corner on the basis of some silly idea. Uh, and he's just too proud to get out of this little corner and admit to his subscribers that he was wrong. But anyway, that was a quick one from me. More stuff will be coming up. Uh, and apparently, I should tell you to like and subscribe as this helps my channel. So please go and do that.